Thanks for reporting, Lord Megatron. And what news from our little assassin? Alfonso, this is Optimus Prime. Transform and roll out! What's good, Alfonso Nation? Welcome back, one and all. Let's go, Alfonso here. Guys, we are entering October. The autumn has begun, the vibes have gone on max, and I'm so hyped. Welcome, one and all, to another episode of Teletran Unboxing. Let's go. I love it. Love to see it. I am very, very hyped for this particular guy. This is one of my favorite Decepticons in the Transformers Dark of the Moon film. But before we get into the figure, I want to say thanks to Shozy Store for sporting him. You can get this figure and more at Shozy's door. Ego, this figure and more. At Shozy's store. I say this figure and more. At Shozy's door. I have finally acquired this figure, you guys. Literally everything that I've come across has been such a positive reception for this figure. And I'm like looking at it like it's probably just a nice figure like every other figure I've seen. But there's such like overwhelming like admiration for this guy. And I 100% need it for my Dr. Moon collection. And that's right, I'm talking about the new age mister let's go i'm here we are here he actually comes in a really small box i thought it'd be a much larger box but it's a smaller box and he comes with this additional little new age uh logo box a little cardboard box i'm assuming it's for ravage and laser beak what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get into the packaging first and then we're gonna get into the box i'm pretty sure he's in alt mode because i doubt that a figure of his like shoulder width would be this narrow the box would be this narrow let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging C super cool got a nice little neon like this neon super dark like vibe with some uh foreign language printed in the back you got some art of him right there front and center and then it says he's watching you <laughs> and then you got new age movie series and then New Age Movie, movie Series, and you guessed it, New Age Movie Series. And then on the back, you've got a little bit more of him. This looks like this is the figure itself. So you got some figure shots, and you got three shots there. And uh, looks awesome. I love the fact that he comes with laser beak. That's pretty much it for the packaging. Really small. And then this little cardboard box here has just the New Age logo. I've been waiting for a while. I've been having him for a couple of days, so I am extremely hyped to finally get a look at New Age Mista. This is literally like an MPM scaled, or an MPM almost, uh, sound wave for Darker the Moon, which is, I love his alt mode and I love his robot mode. So without further ado, let's roll. Oh God. Ah, here we go. It's on, it is on. I'm excited, man, I'm excited. The Corvette Assassin, the Sideswipe. I liked his alt mode, that nice silver alt mode, but it wasn't the best figure overall. This one, because of all of the good reports and feedback, plus that nice silver alt mode, I'm probably gonna fall in love with it. I, I love quality figures. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I'm already loving it. I'm already feeling it. Are you feeling it, Mr. Craps? Oh, Laser Beak. Oh, I thought Laser Beak was in here. So who's in here then? Is it Ravage? It's gotta be Ravage. He's not, he's not anywhere. Bro, Lee, I finally have a Babers Laser Beak for MPM scale. That is so sick. Look at the blast. Ah! <laughs> okay, so this is probably all the accessories. This is the man with the plan, if you understand. He looks good in the clamshell, much less how he's gonna look in freaking hand. Let's take him out. Oh, man, not finished. Man, these figures are so dope, bro. Like, oh, wow. This is, 
Oh, the first thing I gotta do, I gotta open the door. I gotta, wait, let me actually peel this off. Let's do some ASMR peeling. Let's see if you can hear it. Oh, I love that. Oh, I gotta open the doors. This is like his signature Dark of the Moon vibe. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! This alt mode is sick. The alt mode is sick. The rim's got a nice chrome finish. You can even see the... Man, this... This is tight! Soundwave's car is my favorite alt mode in Dark of the Moon. And the very fact that this looks exactly like it, and it has the Mercedes freaking logo, like, this is just awesome. I'm gonna transform him, and we're gonna get him in robot mode, because that's what I really can't wait to see. So by all means, let's freaking go. And holy crap! <laughs> holy crap! Oh my god, this is how he looks in his robot mode. Oh man, I, wow, this is sick, y'all. This is the new age Mista in his robot mode, fully transformed. I tried my best, I think I got it, it looks like I got it. <laughs> the legs were something, they were something to transform. The upper body, not so bad. But my goodness, man, this is awesome. The very fact that both of the modes are that accurate really goes to show how awesome, how freaking awesome the engineering is. The, it was an interesting transformation, but he has such a weird, like, robot mode in terms of, like, his legs. It's not your standard legs, so they really managed to get this accuracy with both modes given the engineering i'm blown away what, what what i really love the most is those chrome additions you can see that you can really see that in his arms these sections here sections in the front and even in the back where they didn't have to do it you definitely see the silver chrome additions on the back really looks incredible this is gonna look so good with Bubble Bee or any of the Transformers Dark of the Moon figures of MPM scale. This is gonna be literally sick. I am radically impressed. That head sculpt is literally phenomenal. I love his head sculpt. He has a nice detail. It's exactly movie accurate to what we've seen. That nice detailing in the chin, the mouth, that alien looking face. And then the spike sticking up at the top of the head. He has painted eyes, not LED eyes, but still very nice. This is probably going to be one of my favorite Dark of the Moon figures. This is his blaster, the handheld blaster, the one that almost killed Bumblebee, but I knew he wouldn't have died in that. Come on. Can't kill Bumblebee. He's Bumblebee. But this is the blaster, and I'm loving it already. Nicely sculpted. It's got mostly sculpt, not that much paint, but you do have paint in the barrels there that gold paint gold touch so nice paint and detail overall just nicely sculpted piece laser beak let's go let's go oh man i can't wait to see ravage too i'm gonna take ravage out this guy is loaded with articulation i wasn't really expecting that wow that is sick this is laser peak in the transformers dark of the moon this is perfect beautiful detailings all on the wings the wings have rotation got a rotation here on this wing then you've got another one on the base wing and then you've got some rotation on the tail the tail pivots there's like rotation and transformation at the base of the tail and then you've got movement up and down for the tail. Like, what? What? His legs move all the way around like that? Like, literally, wow. And I'm sure his wings flap. They flap. So you've got some nice flap on the wings. This is sick, y'all. And then the, the actual neck rotates all the way around, up and down. You got some good range of motion. And even the head itself has a ball joint, so it rotates all the way around and swivels. This is literally the most impressive laser beak I've ever seen. I gotta get Ravage out. I gotta get Ravage out. Let's go, Ravage. Let's go, Ravage. Let's go! <laughs> oh! Oh! 
Dude! Dude, Ravage is awesome! Ravage has a lot of articulation also. And he comes with some blasters. I get this on like a little 3D printed thing. This is the blasters he comes with. I'm assuming that little middle piece just kind of comes off. It looks like it's part of like a 3D printed thing. I'm gonna move that over and you can peg it to the back of him. Look at Ravage. Look at Ravage. Beautifully detailed, prickly, nicely detailed Ravage. Extremely movie accurate with a lot of articulation. His neck moves around, his head moves up and down, and his head is on the ball joints. His head can move around. His jaw opens up nice and wide. Let me see if I can get it to open up. I need it. Yeah, there you go. Jaw opens up just like that. He's got articulation, you know, his uh, his belly maneuvers like this, it swivels around. And then you've got rotation on his back section, like near his like thighs, the legs, that moves around. The legs have joints up here. You got the thigh joint, and then you've got the knee joint, and you've got the ankle joint. You got two ankle joints. Dude, the same goes for up here. You've got like movement on the shoulder, then you've got elbow, and then you've got the feet, ankles. Bruh, what? Then you've got the tail moving up and down. You got one, two, three points of articulation on the tail, and the tail can swivel all the way around. I have never seen such attention to detail and articulation on a minion, not even like the central figure. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I live for. Soundwave's articulation is also freaking amazing. He, his arm comes up, arm moves around, uh, arm rotates uh, near the shoulder, elbow bend about 90 degrees, does go back, goes straightens out. He's got wrist rotation. He's got individually articulated fingers with two points of articulation on each one. His thumb is on a ball joint, so let me just move it up. The thumb can rotate around. It's a little stiff, so you gotta just kind of be careful. But there's three points of articulation on all of his fingers. His legs come all the way out. His legs come down. They swivel like this. You can probably go all around, but there's some obstruction. Legs are a little weird, you know, in terms of the detail. The knee bends, nice acute angle bend comes down it does kick all the way back you got the you got a little ankle piece here ankle piece helps with the articulation uh to kind of keep him stabilized when he's standing he's got some toe pivoting some ankle tiltage here a little bit you know it, it's it's for the transformation but it's there he's got a nice waist swivel he can go all the way around i'm i guess i can do it yep there it goes there's just some obstruction you got to clear some pieces some sections before you get it done, but it looks phenomenal. He looks great. The head looks up like so, looks down. The head is on the ball joint, so it can go all the way around, can move around, can go forward and back, just like that. New Age Mista is a freaking legend. <laughs> and just for a couple of comparisons for the comparison segment, here he is with the Transformers Studio Series 38 Optimus Prime. Looks phenomenal. He wasn't that tall in the film, so he's not going to be that tall overall in scale for the figure. And also, here he is with the MPM KO Bumblebee. This is the Wasp Warrior WW01. Looks sick. Oh my goodness, you can replicate so many scenes with these guys. They look absolutely incredible together. I really like that. I, I dig that. Also, here he is with the MPM official Hasbro Barricade, Decepticon Barricade, also in Dark of the Moon. So, he definitely fits with the narrative. And also, here he is with the MPM KO Dark of the Moon Colored Ratchet. It's the same skill, same overall detailing as the official Hasbro MPM, just recolored and the joints are better i love that figure and man do they look phenomenal together man also here he is with the black apple the Wei Jane thunder leader optimus prime aka black apple optimus prime wow freaking wow he definitely can't beat him <laughs> in a 1v1 my goodness optimus would just pick him up and rip him apart like megatron did to jazz like a megatron i did to jazz speaking of megatron <laughs> here he is with the unique toy Desperado Battle Damage Megatron that I also newly acquired and woo! 
Soundwave reporting, Lord Megatron. Indeed, they look so awesome. Megatron obviously towers over him, as he should. He's the leader of the Decepticons, but together, you can really just replicate that African scene if you have that star screen as well, because Megatron has Igor, Soundwave has Laserbeak, and uh, he has Ravage, although Ravage was not in that scene, but Megatron definitely is a centerpiece of that overall display configuration. I am literally blown away by every single piece of this figure, like... The alt mode is phenomenal, the robot mode is exceptional, the articulation is there, the painting, the detailing on the robot mode, the nice chrome additions, which it didn't have to do, a lot of chrome additions there. I don't even need LEDs, I'm usually like an LED stand, I don't need LEDs for this guy, he's literally just perfect as is, although I will admit it probably would make him even a whole lot more better, but that's about the only thing I'd say that this guy needs, because everything else is there. He has a great feel in hand, he feels like an MPM, like a masterpiece movie series figure. And his accessories, Ravage and Laserbeak, it's a perfect icing on the cake. And even his hand blaster, now, it's really awesome that that is also included. This is Dark of the Moon Soundwave Incarnate. And I don't really have much of any complaints about him. He literally is one of the best movie-verse, Bayverse figures that we've gotten for Dark of the Moon. Probably the best one in the Decepticon lineup right next to that Desperado Megatron. That one is just so nice. It really feels like a 3-0 figure. Be sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter, especially Instagram. I will be doing some photography and posting it there. Also, thanks to Shoji Store once again for sporting this guy. Link is in the description if you want to get him. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. If you like or have any questions, comment below. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you soon. Till all are one.